drama or other session instrument sounds like it's out of time with the rest of your project, there could be a very simple reason why and a simple solution. So this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. Welcome to Studio Live today and another Logic Pro for iPad tip. Let's dive in. And if you'd like to learn a whole heap more about Logic Pro for iPad, including how I created this seven-piece band right here in Logic Pro, check out the other videos linked in the description. Logic Pro for iPad version 2 updated not only the drummer, but it added an additional keyboard and bass session player. And that included a whole bunch of detailed options to really tweak your performances. However, what a lot of folks have found is that if you're not careful, some of these options can really mess with the timing of your project. Let's dive in and show you the two key options you want to check. The first option we want to look at is the feel. To get to this here in our drummer, we want to go to details and here's the feel option. Now in the demo you heard there at the start, I had the feel all the way around to push and that's why you would have heard that snare drum coming in too soon because I've set it to push it along. Let's take another listen. Hear how early that first snare came in? That's because we had this feel set all the way up. If we double tap this one to bring it back to zero, let's take a listen now. Much better. If we go the other way, all the way around to pull, then it's going to do the opposite. Let's take a listen now. Hear how those hits are coming in just a little bit after. Now the feel can be fabulous if your other instruments are in sync with it. But if you have one instrument like the drums here with the feel too far in the push or the pull, it's not gonna be synced or aligned with the rest of your instruments. You're not gonna get that groove or that pocket that you really want in your projects. And where some folks are getting trapped is that if you change up the drummer, say we come here and we go to this retro rock drummer, check that out. It's actually changed the feel, it's gone a little bit push as we change through different drummers it's actually going to change the feel based on the type of music that we're actually selecting so some will be right up the middle but if we go to this funky drummer it's going to have a little bit more pull because funk songs kind of tend to have that kind of groove but if the rest of your instruments aren't lined up for that it won't sound great so if you're finding your stuff out of time come back to here and double tap or check your other instruments and see where their feel is let's dive in and look at those now so in this project we've got this bass as well. Let's jump in there and check out the details tab. And again, we can adjust the feel there. So you kind of want all of those to align. Mostly you can play with them a little bit one way or the other if it's going to sound good in your project. But for the most part, you want your feel to either be right up the middle or aligned and synced across your instruments. The other place you want to check if your projects are sounding out of time is the swing setting. Let's go back to our drums and go into the edit window here. This time we're on the main tab and have a look here. We've got the swing setting. Now, if you've got your swing setting up really high, the drums are going to swing. Now, if your bass and your other instruments aren't swinging, they can kind of sound out of time. Let's take a listen. So it's kind of stumbling over itself a little bit there and the same thing because it's got a 16th note. If we have an eighth note swing, it'll be even more obvious. And this can sound great and fine if your other instruments have swing added, but if they don't, it won't. So check your swing and you can always turn that all the way down and you're not going to have that swing sound in your tracks. And for your keyboard instruments, exactly the same deal. If we come into the session player here, you have your swing setting there and you also have the details and the feel. And you can see here that this piano does have the feel a little bit pull. It wasn't really poking out in the mix. So it's not going to be for everything, but if you do notice that these are really far one way or the other, it's going to impact the time of your overall project. So I hope you found this one useful. If you're finding your songs a little bit out of time, jump in and check that feel and that swing setting and you'll be good to go.